Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. We're going to pick up where we left off doing the interior design on the copper refineries in the Devastator factory. And uh, the good news is that we have established kind of what we want to do with the ceiling uh, at the end of the last stream. We just have to, have to repeat that process uh, and get on the go. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, there are two new podcasts out right now. The Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Chunks both have new episodes out this week. Citadel Cafe was on Sunday and the Spawn Chunks was on Monday. And they are uh, both available wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Uh, free to download. Uh, if you've enjoyed them, then maybe look at liking or subscribing for free on your favorite platform. It really does help us out. And uh, we're just going to dive right in. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I got Sweet Sandy, Grumpa1974, Dan Grice kicking around. I think I saw a few other people as well. Always good to have the regulars to kick off the stream. I'm excited to get this not finished, but like finish the thought of like the orange lighting and the, the decor and like have this design language, I guess, to bring forward to the other factories in the, in the, the larger factory. I don't know what you want to call them, the larger facilities within the factory, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call it because it's not really a factory on its own. It's more like the entire complex is the factory, but then we've got this section here that we've been working on. And all we are doing here is uh, we're going to continue with the dark ceiling. I do like these little lights. I don't know how many of those we're going to use, but I think we're going to do... We'll try maybe another another side with more than more than just the edges, unless we want to put like maybe one on the middle end here. Is that gonna? That looks right. I don't know. I'm not sure whether we need to have like two instead of one, like one one around there and one around there maybe, and see what that looks like. Yeah, that to me looks cooler than than just the one. Nice. Penguin dude, hello, how's it going? Finishing uh, the factory is always a challenge, right? I, I don't know. I'm sure at some point I'll finish, but whether or not it's actually finished or I will be finished with it. <laughs> Probably two completely different things. I put that? That's the wrong place. Looks right to me. I guess I could also go around and change these before I start putting them in. Probably be smart. Although, I guess it's probably going to be easier to mark out where the lights are going to go while I can still see the um, still see the grids. So maybe we should do that first. That's fair. Yeah. 
And I guess I'll do here as well. centered but obviously it's gonna be problematic with the power so we'll probably have to figure out what's going on there I might have to actually finish the the intake for this this side Moments like these, you really notice how slidey the um, upper pack is. All right, let's temporarily get this down below. Um, these are just like right in the middle. Yeah. Maybe I can stick them on here. We may have to move these again, but that's fine. I guess we can just bring that over temporarily from this one because that's what we've done we've gone up to the ceiling there that is very very temporary let's this both bays it's bay four and five right now That all that fits? No, you have to hit enter. Of course. There we go. So let's go up here instead. I feel like that's pretty straight. Hear some hog friends trampling around down below.
so that sort of gets out of the way. I wonder if we could maybe have that be a little bit nicer. It might be worth just having this down here. that works that gets all of the wiring out of the way we still have this thing to contend with you know what I might as well just delete that now we'll just do this over again Now what I don't remember is how far away the beams are, but I think I can just kind of carry it down from the other beam and should be okay. Blast Jordan subscribing at tier one, 18 months. Thanks so much, Blast Jordan. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So what I can do is just extend this and just take this all the way down. And I should just change... Do I want to change this? I guess I'll leave it green so it's easy to see. I don't think I want this all to be one piece. I think I want it to have each each individual row is going to have its own light. So this goes into the middle. So all I need to do there is just grab this and just decide where is it that we started it. The one, two, three from in there. So if I start here, it's one, two, three should be right. Hopefully this will work and make this a fairly speedy process. Finally, treasure hunting for all the heart of the seas. Oh, on uh, in Minecraft. I don't know that I've done anything with conduits in Minecraft. I um, I tend to not adventure very much. I tend to just kind of hunker down and build somewhere, and then once I start building somewhere, I'm, I'm there for years. <laughs> just, which sounds like a, an exaggeration, but like 100% that is what happens. Now, does that look like it's the same? I don't know. I feel like that's closer somehow. One, two... Yep, yeah, so this is in the wrong spot. I 
Unfortunately, I made life difficult for myself. And I moved it by a half meter. Due to the mod on the server I'm playing on has Hearts of the Seas, it's actually more useful than the normal vanilla gameplay. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea as a mod. Uh, where you can get... Um, to, um, you can take something that um, isn't... Like, you're not adding a block to the game. You're just taking something that has like one specific use in Minecraft, but giving it another use. I think that's a uh, a cool way to do it because then it doesn't like feel it doesn't really feel like you're ch like it's that's what I'm looking for. It's not like you're correcting the development of the game. You know, like it's not it's not like you're saying, "Hey Mojang, you did it wrong." It's more like you're saying, "Hey, um, yes and." I guess that's a really good way to say it. It's it's like a it's like a mod version of yes and. I think that's a, uh, a good way to approach it. I wish I understood. I wish... Here's a mod that I would like to have in, in Satisfactory. Uh, a crosshair. Like a proper crosshair. Instead of this, this disc in front of me, this circle, I want a crosshair. <laughs> I want to know what I'm aiming at. Two... Yes, and is the new quality of life. That, you know what? That's not a bad way to say that. I, I think that's pretty, pretty accurate. One way to make yourself dizzy, and that's looking at the ceiling in any building game. I, I would hazard to guess that any building game, when you're looking up, will give you like a neck cramp. Especially if it's, a, if it's an immersive game like this. Okay, so that's those in like that. So now, if I delete this, I should be able to start one right here in the end. But then lock it half meter that way no what did that network and that should work okay so I keep on printing shift it's not shift it's control And you're not going to be able to see that kind of weird seam once we have them all painted. I feel like I learned something new about the placement of buildables in Satisfactory with every new project. Like I feel like I'm a lot better with beams now than I used to be. And I think because we haven't yet finished the ceiling up here, I think it might be cool 
to just cut a hole in it and we'll lay down I'll just lay down the um oh no wait I guess I could probably do it this way too can I this is easy oh yeah it's not too bad only the first one we'll have to worry about I guess I have to be a little bit closer. And yes, I know you can daisy chain the lights together. The problem is that the cord dangles and it looks bad. So I think for fun, I'm just going to pull this power up here. Just for now. To know they're all hooked up. It's like a proof of proof of of wiring. This won't take too, too long. Got all four of them. Nice. Well, that's easy. Maybe I'll do it that way. I didn't realize that these would automatically switch. It's kind of nice to have the ceiling because I can kind of push myself up against it and keep at a steady height. One, two, three, four. That's... All of them. I don't know what or if we're going to do anything here, so I'll have to leave that empty for now. Uh, and then the top part, uh, I will want to wire this up here. And that just goes straight down through the floor. But I specifically have to use this one because this is what's connected to the orange lights. So let's add in a node somewhere easy to follow, like along here. So put a beam up here just so I can know I can mark it as like this is different from the other power at 
that junction. And there. Oh, tricky. thing about logistics floors when you make them this small is that you always end up wishing that you had more room. the hole. Oh, wow. Not convenient at all. Not going to see that anyway. not on my bingo card. up to there. And where's the next one? Okay, so you're done. And you're done. Which means I can paint you. See, things like this, you think, oh, yeah, I got lots of room. And the moment you have to add another piece to it, you're just like, nope. Now, where's the next one? That's where I came in. So that should, if I go, if I go flick this switch, that should be... Two, oh no, it's not hooked up all the way to the start, I guess. Should be two. There's the first one. I know why this glitch of highlighting all these things really annoying. See what you're doing. I feel like there's one more right there. I 
I can't be the first one to think about using beams as like coloring your power lines, color coding them. Okay, so this is already done. And the next one is here. And we have to do this again. Good guess. I really wish there was custom chimneys in the game. Yeah, I, there, there could be some extra stuff like that, I think, too. I wish they had more... For me, it's really, the thing that I've been complaining about most recently is the, the limited color palettes. The fact that you have to... Your custom palette, there's only one. Everything else is like a persistent palette in the game. Right, that should be everything. So if I unhook you, you still have power. And if I give the switch a flip, we should go back to orange. Everything looks orange to me. Really wish that that would go away. what you want to call them. Track lights. One, two, three. Okay. Too fast. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think that'll look cool. Now we just have to decide how many of these lights we want to put down the edge. Maybe we just do them evenly. So from here we'll do three. So it looks like roughly the same amount of space. And then maybe we put them in between the lights. Or maybe both, I don't know. Uh, 
I think in between the lights will work out better. good thanks for the lurk Bali good to see you It's all on that side. It's funny how the reflections are actually more yellow than the light. That's how you know it's not <laughs> real ray tracing. Well, that's going to take forever. kind of thing where you might want to make a blueprint you know if you're going to do this more than the one room if you had several rooms you'd probably want to blue blueprint this one thing i could see spending a lot of time blueprinting some stuff in like a creative mode and then copying those blueprints over to a new save and then using it that way Thankfully, it's easier to see with the green, the green beam. Thanks, Sandy. I'm glad you like it. I'm really getting sick of this floaty uh, hovercraft, hover pack thing, though. I will be happy to be on the ground.
two more left to go. It's the only thing about this game with the um, the scale at which I work, a lot of repetition. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure, what to do over here? It has to go up. I feel like we might want to go up with the ceiling as well. space. That's not doing anything. Neither is that. At some point it has to go down. I can get one more maybe? Oh, that's outside. Well then. There's no, no triangle piece there. I don't think that'll work. This is just going to be flat. Do I need that to be flat there? Or could this be... I guess that could be a wall. There's already some depth happening here. Yeah. Oh, I probably want to keep them the same. I guess I could bring this up. Rather than this being flat, we could have this be um, like an angled roof part. This also could connect to this building too. This building over here could be taller. I don't actually know. Similar how that one gets taller. So there could be like a, a dip here. For now, maybe we'll go with um, a roof.
And that means I can put a wall in here. I don't know if I like that the way that it is, but we'll mess with it later. I feel like I tried to get it this way and it didn't quite work. Right. Be less headaches if we keep it like this. Now, is that a floor above? Yes, okay, crap. I can't do that. Then. I think we have to change the texture on this. Wait a minute, is that a four foot? Yeah, I wonder, maybe we can use the inside of the roof piece? The other alternative is using um, a different wall. Yeah, not great. But kind of what we what we have so far. Now does that need to go? I feel like there could be another way to do that. I don't know what those other two portals go to either. The freedom of early work release before a holiday. Fantastic, Donorath. Thanks, Penguin Dude. Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, so these currently are not doing anything. They're not hooked up to anything either. Don't know what was there. It was just going to trash. So we're going to remove those. This 
Stream time is at an hour. Um, we must be very close to nighttime then. Can't see the sun, but yeah, it looks like it's getting close to nighttime. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate the reminder. I'm not sure why those are flickering all the time. I think it's whenever my jetpack pulls from the the electricity, flickers the lights. So I think we're going to have to move this. I think this might actually have to come straight up here. Might have to put a floor hole there. I guess we could always have it be cut off. It's not terrible. Except for now, this needs to go all the way to the ceiling. Ah, I can't do that, because it'll show up outside, I think. Yeah. Well then. That's right, I think I can fix that. If I just go up by another little bit, is that going to be enough? Oh, that's yeah, fine. Oh, that's annoying. Gur arg. I guess I'll just go lower then. And there's the lights going out. that makes sense or not. Maybe we change that. 
the dark. That's a little bit better. I like the shape it creates. Time for me to take a break. Let's see if I can get to the break train. I think we need more lights up on the big chest plate. More decorative lights. Cool. I take a break once an hour, folks. Gives me a chance to grab another coffee. You can grab a snack, grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. Uh, I'm on Twitter, Blue Sky, Instagram. Very easy to find. Share the stream, and I'll be back in just a few minutes.
I wonder why we're stuck. I wonder why we're stuck. Sinning Stan, hello, welcome in. So we're stuck because you're stuck. And you're stuck probably because that guy paused. And now no one can decide what to do. It's probably because this guy stopped on a hill and couldn't get going and is now stuck constantly prompting. Next station. Devastator scavenger. Yeah. So I need to have no inclines next to the roundabout. I think that seems to be an issue. So we have to move this back. It's gonna be tricky. Are you gonna go? You're gonna go. So it's just like that awkward timing of them both waiting for each other. Yeah, so that incline, I guess, is too close to the roundabout. So we'll have to figure that out. Be a different approach. That's right, we are just going to turn around. I'm going to grab this guy and take and the timetable. Let's move Devastator Hub down to there. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the incline that's the issue, Sandy. Would be my guess. We're getting really close with this this copper factory. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the outside. I have no idea what's going to go on with the outside. No! Why am I going... I really don't understand. I know that I'm not using this train the way that it's supposed to be used. Like, I know it's not the intention. Um, but like, why, why did I miss the turnoff for the Devastator Hub? It's dumb. I think it's just where it was supposed to be going. The order in which they travel to their next destination. If it's not just two back and forth, then when you try to move things around, it just does not make any sense. I really hope that they can address that at some point in the future. I know it's not going to happen anytime soon, but... I don't know. There's certain things where, like, I know that the game had to be released, and I know that they probably had to prioritize certain things, but there's some things about trains and a few other things in the game that just feel quirky to the point where, like, you obviously know that this is quirky, but I find that the player experience sometimes can suffer. I think that's one of my pet peeves with games like this, um, is inconsistent behavior of certain game elements. I'm 
Not crazy about the orange. Makes a weird, weird silhouette. Maybe we just go gray. like that makes more sense. I really wish we had textures for uh, foundations in the same kind of texture we have for walls. That would be handy. side and see what's up. It is going to be fun to, to add all the extra kind of doodads and stuff on the outside of this when we get to it. It'll be fun. I don't know if I want that to be gray. Or maybe black. Black might be better. The um, carbon steel is a little on the shiny side. Kind of want this just to fade into the background. For that matter, we could also make this black too. Cool. All right, let's try to finish these where I move on and forget about them. Hopefully they'll fix some of these like upside set down sign bugs with the Fixmas release as well. I might actually do Fixmas this year. I might. I don't know if I'll do it in this save.
I guess I might as well. Oh, I didn't finish the ceiling. I thought I got all of these. Apparently I missed some. Oh, they're outside here, that's why. Think that's all of them now? Some part of the map where you can hide a Christmas tree? Yeah, I mean, I could just put it in, like, the dune desert, or... I mean, w maybe we don't even keep it. I'm not sure where we would put it. There's that island, like, way down the south. Uh, it's, like, way down here. And you can actually put stuff on it, but there's no resources, so maybe we, like, train everything in there? That could be interesting. Then it's like out of the way, not part of the rest of the build. I mean, we could also just make it look like a transformer. Christmas transformer. I just know that I've, I feel like I've missed out on it in the previous years, so I want to try to take advantage. So that takes care of all the ceiling lighting. It looks pretty cool. It'll look cooler at night, obviously. I love that we've got this motion in here. I need more of that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I also like what we did here. So I'd like to try to continue that, which means probably changing this, which I thought is something I was going to do last time. Whoa, don't want to delete that. That would suck. Right, so I think what's going to happen here, that's going to probably be remaining the same. This is probably going to drop down. And be a different color. I 
think that's an outside piece. No. Yeah, that starts to feel kind of funny, doesn't it? Maybe we don't go down that far. I guess we could just change that to a smaller one. And then maybe instead of it being on the window, we can put this down farther. Oh, that's not where that's supposed to go. That's even... That's in front of that again. Right. here all of a sudden I can put these there again I couldn't do this last time I totally couldn't do that last time. Maybe it's just the triangles I can't do it with? Nope, that's fine. So bizarre. So then that could all be gray texture? Oh, we have to do that before we put the windows in, right.
maybe I don't need that top part of the window. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Um, I think I'm going to eliminate these. Simplify the top part. And then... I guess just keep that there. Doesn't look good. Back to the way it was, I guess. What if we did this in steps? Like that a little bit better. here same sort of thing Yeah, I think that looks okay. between high cliffs and then you don't see the, the Christmas build. Yeah, that's a good idea too. One of those over the last one. Oh, and one of these. Yeah, if you ever have any trouble with your um, windows and walls not going together where you think they should, uh, reload your game. 
I feel like I was having a problem before, and now I don't seem to be having the same issues. Uh, that's not going to work. Three, two, three. Cool. Now, uh, easy fix here would be just put something like that there. Double up on the thickness of the door. Because we run out of room. Or I could just extend the extend the building. Could do that too. And just put this farther along. Oh no, the door is supposed to be there. That's the difference. Right? Yeah. Good for now. And I guess we... I'm not sure what we do here. This probably just extends for now. These are great. I mean, really, this would probably 
continue. I'm not sure how we would do this. This would have to be, I guess, brought in in the same way. I'm not sure that whether that would be green. Probably this would just be Hmm. That's odd. It's off the... Maybe we remove that. You could have too much fun with these layers. Too much fun. I uh, guess we'll do one more. Oh, there's no really way to reconcile that, is there? Uh, probably the closest we're going to get. No idea what's happening with that wall. So I'll have to wait on that. Um, what's supposed to be out there besides copper? You mean out here? Uh, this is all uh, going to be rotors and stators. That's what that's going to be. Uh, but I need to figure out... Um, where the material is coming from and I was waiting for something I'm not sure whether it was water or like more more nodes or like I needed to buff I needed to have like the extra miner speed like the mark 3 miner to get more copper because I think there's only one copper node over there yeah pure copper node I think it's at max. radar tower there so yeah I think I I need to get like a mark three on that yeah oh no I need to take it it's only overclocked to 480 why is it only overclocked to 480 Copper number seven. Uh, right. Four eighty thirty two refineries. Pure copper ingots. Bay five is not working yet.
it's 32 times 37.5. Eight eighty. That's why. That's why we don't have a single. We we'll have to do double belts. Oh no, that's the output. That's not the right input. I need fifteen. Four eighty. Um. There's more than thirty-two refineries. We're gonna bring it up to forty. That's what it is. I was maxing out the node. So I haven't maxed out the node yet. Okay. Fair enough. So that copper is coming in there on a Mark IV. So yeah, we can... I was probably waiting for aluminum. Um, so we need to pull some copper into here. It looks like this is all belted up. Looks like it's all ready to go. We just need to have... I, just, I don't have the water hooked up. All these floor holes are going to be a problem. So that's going to be an issue. I'll probably have to redo them. I'll just I'll connect them without the floor hole. Just to avoid that bug for now. And then we'll pull it off. I guess we'd have to figure out how we're gonna pull it off. Oh that's wonky. I don't like that. We'll have to figure out a better way for this thing. That's not good. We'll have to do some load balancing, I think. Maybe underneath, but that's my most probably mostly pipes. Yes. Okay. Mm, missed one. I like that pipe color. That's good. Yeah, and I mean, this will potentially extend. We could have this space here to work with as well. I don't know where all that copper is going to go. We don't have the space for it to come up here. Or do we? I guess we do. We may have to send it up this side. Go base seven, which is not built yet. Where's base seven supposed to be? Did I number it? That's base seven. Yeah, so we will probably not try to send it over there. We will probably try to send it directly, directly up here rather than merging it. And <laughs> someone needs a mark six. No, I just need mark five. Um, yeah, we'll probably try to send this stuff up here, which is probably what I was thinking. Is this an output? That's an input. The outputs of these are not hooked up. Right. So that is probably going to go back into the wall here. And probably up in this space right there would be my guess.
It's going to be 300. Bay five to wire bay seven. And there's the overclock note. Upgrade to Mark V belt. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to do that just yet because I haven't yet decided on the design for the outside of the building. So I need to try and bolster this section first before I start to figure out what's happening over here. So at least we know what's going to go on. Uh, so that, and then I don't really have the information to do anything along here. That is going to bug me. Let's put a beam here. See that outside? You probably can. Well, that's just annoying. Oh, those are the wrong thickness. I do like when you come through here, kind of get this cool view. Could we do here? I guess we can change all of these to the asphalt texture. Some decisions we know will stay. This was already built up because of the ground here. I was not expecting to expand it this way. Oh, hey. There's just nothing there. There's our friend. Do I have a sword? There's another thing around here too that I thought I heard. Maybe it was the water pumps that I was hearing. Mm -mm. 
streams at two hours. Nighttime approaches. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to put this line up here. Actually, those should probably be this color. And I don't remember what color that is. Is it five? No, it must be black. What color is that? I'm confused. Oh, you know what? It's custom. That's what it is. Okay, so here we could put in a ramp. Or stairs, but for now, ramp. And then along here. Actually. Hmm. I don't want to make this orange. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like it orange too. We could always add a little something in front of it, too. the opposite way. Man, this whole layering walls thing is really really fun just you end up sinking so much time into what you're doing um we'll probably just run this straight in all right break time and i don't have a train nearby so i'm just gonna have to build one good news is that there's a track right here the trains are still moving another 
Oh yeah, they're moving. Okay. Once again, folks, just taking a short break. I'll be back in five or seven minutes. You get to ride the brake train, and I'll be right back.
All right, let's squash this extra leg on the trip. Let's go back the old-fashioned way. So strange that you have no footprints. What was that? Oh. Didn't know that was there. One less item in the world. Thank you, Sandy. Just in time for the sunrise. Going in lurk mode, watching Arcane. Nice, Zero. Enjoy. It is the best TV show I have seen in a very long time. I find even falling with the jetpack, no, the, the, not the jetpack, the um, hover pack a little slidey. Okay. You know, like this is looking pretty good. I can't really do the outside yet. But I think we're all right. should probably do is the same angle. Nope. Just doesn't look good. That's fine. I wonder if I should just start to think about where this is going to send its stuff. These are all mergers. I guess we could just put them here. They'd have to be right next to these ones, maybe. Huge fan of either of those. What do we like better? I mean, they'd be orange.
Hmm. I think I like the far one, even though it's not my favorite. It's better than this one, I think. Oh, did that? All right, that's on a different length then. That's. Wonder why that's not lined up. This one just in a weird spot. Yeah, that was not lined up. There's got to be a reason for that. Nope. Alright, well, we'll move this one then. And then we can probably... Much as I like that, we could use this as a way to get things in, or this could go up. Could probably use that. We have to get stuff in there as well. And that might be tricky if I block that off. We may have to go underground. Okay, first things first, remove that. showing me lines. Right, there's that one. Yeah, these are orange. Okay, so that's done. And then do the outputs along here. This all needs to be mark four. I think that's what I have on all of these on the outputs. I just have to make sure the other side is hooked up. 
Uh, now these all have floor holes, and so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the floor hole and just put in the lift. Because you're really not going to be able to see it, I don't think. Change this to my main for now, so I don't have to repaint stuff all the time. So it's easier to see. Unfortunately, this is not going to work very well. Very sneaky, very... Um, I'm not sure what you want to call it. Clippy. Okay, so those are all back to hook. And then I need the pipe water coming in here. I don't know where the water's coming from. Got three water extractors, 320. This is going to take this to. Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five. So that's 40 altogether. So if we change this sheet, there's now 40 refineries. Um, so that's going to do, it's going to have 300, right? So 37.5 times 8 is 300. Yep. So 600, 600, and 300. But um, if each recipe needs 10 per minute for water, that means our water is going to go up. So we need 400 water. Three Mark One pipes. And I have to adjust the water. Three water extractors, two and hundred percent, and one at sixty-seven. That's probably going to change. Uh, we need four water extractors, or we need to overclock one of them. So you're at hundred, doing hundred and twenty per minute. You're at hundred, doing hundred. No, you're at sixty-seven, and you're at a hundred. So where does this middle one go? Oh, it gets split. I think it gets split. I think I saw a load balancer down here. Yes, so the middle one gets split evenly between the two other pipes. And that makes these two pipes even. But that's not what we want anymore. And those two pipes are bringing in exactly 320 water. Split there and there. So this one goes that way and does these 16 refineries. And this one goes that way and does those 16 refineries. So these eight refineries need 80 per minute. And I don't have 
80. What I need to do is we'll have to use the third one. I still need to keep this, I think. I'll have to do more load, load balancing over here. So, it looks like my plan was to probably take it underneath here. That would all be hidden underneath the footprint of the base. Looks like. So I'll need... 400 total. Each one of these can carry 300, so we're good in terms of that amount. What I need to do is make sure that this one has the extra. And we could just loop it back from here. Oh no, Cause this... right. So we need to bump up the output of lane number three. Which is the farthest... put up my full I'm full So we need 400. This is... Hmm. Four hundred total, but this one needs to have enough for three. This needs to go up to 240. Ten per, there's forty. Each bay needs eight, but each bay needs eighty. So this needs to do three bays, and that's two forty. That is Obviously a glitch from updating to 1.0. We'll, we'll, we'll have to come out here and make this look nice later. So now we've got 240 coming into here. I'm going to take 80. I don't know if that's going to be right or not. I'm going to take 80 and we're going to do it probably around here. Where it's easy to spot.
know if that will snap the way that I want it to. I guess I could use this. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to back that up. To here. Gonna use a floor hole because I feel like that's gonna be a problem at some point. Although I guess if I'm gonna do it, I could just use two meter floor holes. And we'll get that in, I guess, on the same line there Probably this is coming in this way. This needs to be connected. Oh, that's going to be in the wrong spot. So that was a smart splitter. figure out how this is going to go. Input coming in there. Output to here. And that divides that into three lanes. I don't know why it did it that Why did I do it that way? It's weird. Those goes down to those three machines. This is going to be copper. And then this was overflow. And we need another belt there. Okay, so this is probably not going to come in from that direction. It will probably come in from over there, ish. We may have to send this down. That unfortunately is not going to look very good. Yeah, that's a pain. I guess I could use this one. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I could. That might just sneak by there. I could put another one of these on top. Oh, no, wait a minute. That feed is specifically for just that one. I'm going to have to pull from here. Uh, I don't want to pull from down there. 
That's a pain. Sandy, thanks for being awesome. Appreciate it. Bring that water over to there. And then I can connect this. Was oh, that in the wrong spot? That's the wrong spot. And that's the wrong kind of floor hole. Oh boy. Why do you stop snapping the moment that I turn you sideways? That's annoying. Okay, that's good. I can connect this. but not least. Water's flowing. So that will fill that up. And I'm going to put another one of these down at the end. Just so we can see things moving. Eventually. Has to fill up first, maybe. Uh, that might be beyond the head lift. I don't think we have any pumps. Yeah, I had to install pumps over there. So I imagine I probably need a pump along here. Yeah, if that's full, but it's not getting up to here. Well, I don't know. 
I think for just the sake of knowing I have it, we'll put one in here. from here I guess solve that problem quite quickly. Yep. Cool. Okay. Alright, so that's coming in there. Now I just need to know how I'm going to get the copper ore from here to there. Also, I'm not a fan of this. I feel like we've got some of these things kind of shooting out into the into the walkway. It's not my favorite. Could probably do that better. However... So if I didn't drop this, we could pull two feeds off of this if I had it back here. Yeah, there's no way to grab it from over here. Come right down to the ground and then go under. That's possible. And then can pop up here. I'd have to lose this maybe. Actually, no, that's fine. That's all right. Just have to face it the other way. Oh, I need to face it. Switch it as well. So then that will come in from over there. And I guess what we'll do is we'll pull this down around here. Gets it past that. I 
how much does this need? I should double check. 15 times 8. 120? Yeah. So these have to be Mark 2. And then one twenty. I think it's just one twenty down the whole way. That's fine. I'll make this one twenty as well. But these are all ones, mark ones. That's fine. Okay. So it's gonna come in there. I need mark two belt going this way. Man, those straight belts in one dot really help you. Um, not enough space. Don't like bopping around with the full inventory here. Alright, so that'll be that. That'll come down and go into there. And then come out the other side. And then this, this should really be a smart splitter. And I should do copper ore and then overflow. make this a mark five because that'll future future proof it I guess I'll just leave it down there for now that'll take what it needs Pull it along there, and then we just have to deal with the export. It's so nice that you can exchange splitters and mergers just like that now. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that was holding control, by the way. Like you just you you replace it in in space, which is great. Uh, so that'll do that. That's fine. Uh, it looks a little bit strange. I'll probably bring it back up and do something else with it prettier later. Uh, now we just have to worry about the export, which is going to come up in this section here. And it looks like my plan was to take that. This has to go up here and all the way up to here. So it needs to start in this position. So what we'll do is probably keep this at oh crap well there we go good times crash the game uh i'm gonna send and restart but i need to wrap up anyway so that is where we're gonna end 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 um we'll figure out the rest tomorrow Right on time, or 10 minutes early. Uh, no point in jumping back in, because I need to go. Uh, thanks you ever so much, Sweet Sandy, for the reminder for uh, the people that subbed today. Uh, also, Mr. Sir Wivid, uh, thanks very much for the follow. That was a while ago. Uh, but thanks for the support, Zero. Uh, Blast Jordan, appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Sandy, for the modding. Um, make sure you check out things like the Citadel Cafe podcast and the Spontrunks podcast. They're both available right now on your favorite podcast app. 
and I'll be back tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah. Thursday all day. I don't know if I've got a Friday stream this week. If I do, it might be a little bit later. I have an appointment Friday morning and I might be late getting home from it. So uh, I will post on Twitter and Blue Sky and Instagram when I go live on Friday. I'll try to shoot for the same one o'clock time, but it might be a little bit later just to kind of give you a heads up. I will see you all tomorrow, one o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus four hours and uh, have a good rest of your third no today's wednesday wednesday's wednesday's all day today no what is today today's wednesday it is wednesday uh i will catch up with everybody tomorrow thursday yeah i know what day it is i swear i'm gonna send you on to total eclipse playing satisfactory enjoy the rest of your day bye for now